Pablo, say hello to Extra. <laughs> Hi, Turn that thing off! Wasn't accosting his co-stars. Ew! Oh, you. You turn you turn that thing off. The real question here is, what are you guys doing in a hotel room? I'm very warm. Oh, <laughs> because you're wearing a sweater, Michael. Turn around. Uh, because we're actually shooting an episode in which Michael and I go undercover. Undercover? Go under... Un the, the episode is called Undercover. Ah. And it's, uh, and it's a good one. So far, oh, my. Just a little Come. idea of what happens in the episode. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of things that are happening in the episode, but one of them Can involves Michael. Can you hold the microphone? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a really good day. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we are. Do you know any oh. songs? Um, um, no, but sing it. Let's sing something. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Oh yeah, this is really good. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas to all of you at ET. <laughs> But I am not in control here. And, like a big brother, I work. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> We're rehearsing, Carlos. Yeah. Who are you, Carlitos? Okay, I admit it. I'm jealous. Who's better looking, Ember? <laughs> You're both very beautiful. I have not seen this man's torso in ten years. And he took off his shirt less than half an hour ago, and I was in awe. Is that a microphone in my pocket, or am I happy to see it? Cody to Pablo uh, in Undercovers turned to me the first day of shooting and she said, uh, Michael, this is so strange because I have never kissed anyone on camera before. So I thought I'd get this timid little like baby squirrel pack. She almost ate my face in the first take. Looked like uh, an alien when the thing just gets on the head. So we had to sort of back her off that. All right, Cody to Pablo. have named us Tiva. Tiva. Yes. Yes. If it were up to you to pick a name for us as a couple, what would it be? Be honest. Be real. Woo! Ham and cheese. <laughs> Hold on. I'm the ham, you're the cheese. I would go, uh, <laughs> I'm clearly the ham. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm the cheese? No. That's awful. Yeah, no, but I mean that, not in a, not in a, you are not, awful. In a not in like a whipped cheese way, more in a fromage kind of like... Okay, enough. Why do you think we have such good chemistry on the show? <laughs> uh, because I think we had a really interesting audition. You think it started there? I think it totally started there. I want to actually share with you guys an actual real moment. Mm. This audition, I walked in, there was another girl auditioning also. Two people were testing for the part and she went in first and then I went in second and uh, she was kind of flirty with you and I wasn't. I remember halfway through the audition, you leaned over and you grabbed my hair and you did something that completely, you went off book completely, which you often do. And I did not because I was coming from New York and I was coming from the theater. So professional. No, not, it, well, it wasn't that. It was just your way of, you know, working. Right. Which was interesting. I have, a, Har I have a Harry Dean Stanton approach. Well, you grabbed my hair and then you said, you're so pretty, you remind me of Salma Hayek. Did Oops. you not say Oops. that? I, and I thought, this guy's totally flirting with me, sabotaging my audition. And then I thought, oh God, oh God, end of audition, I totally didn't like you. And then after that, I changed into my other wardrobe, which was not the character wardrobe. And then you took me home. And then we totally clicked. That 
It sounded what? bad. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait. It wasn't, it wasn't like you took me home, you took me no, home no. like that. I didn't take you home. You totally... I drove you home. You dro okay, fine. You drove me home. If NCIS were to ever kill off my character, how would you like to see them do it? I would kiss you, and I would put a knife through your gut. Wow. That's pretty graphic, but it's kind of passionate, and I like it. So you, you're into this whole kissing, <laughs> kissing, killing. Is that a South American thing? No, it's not. It's, I think I've been watching the Tudors. But we have kissed. We did? Yeah. How was it? I don't remember. <laughs> if that's the best answer ever. Now, what's going on with my hair there? There's like a little Don't thing that's worry, popping. you look beautiful. <laughs> Shut up. Can I just tell you something alarming? What's there are alarming? times when I'm talking to you and I'm pretty convinced I'm talking to your mother. Oh, no. Yes. You haven't spent enough time with her. No, me. I've spent enough time. My mom to know. is so fantastic. By the way, I'll take that as a compliment. Cody, you are an alarmingly beautiful young lady. You have really good... What are you looking at, Michael Weatherly? Your body is a shockingly <laughs> beautiful thing. He I find it fetching. Fetching? What is this? Is this like a line that you're just going to keep on saying throughout the entire yeah. process? We what tweet, is... What tweet. is tweet... What is tweeting? Don't. 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 It takes too long. Yourself! Hey. Uh -oh. oh, whoa. Uh -oh. I like it when hey I see that now. fire hey, from you, Michael. Hey. Well, usually you're the only one I show it to, but... <laughs> what does that it. say about me? Uh, well... I can press, you I can push you those do. buttons? You, or press the buttons. Well, I can do no, both. You, th you think maybe the characters will get married? Tony know, and Ziva? What do you think? I don't know. I think know. if anything, she'll get pregnant. Come on, let's let's rip it open. How about this? You don't know who it is. Rip it open? Yeah, let's rip it open. <laughs> what if you had a one-night stand with Gibbs? And you don't know if it's Tony's baby or Gibbs' baby? That would be very weird because Gibbs is a father. Mm -hmm. And you're a brother. In more ways than one. Oh, stop it. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Baby daddy? That's a... Baby um, daddy. Or? Stop it. Yeah. I just have to do this. I just... Have to. Thank you. Just, what did I have it on the... It was just a little muffin. It was oh like a piece God, of a muffin. Oh my God, I a muffin. I think every single character is very... I mean, every single person, every every single actor is like very... Like my happy. abdominal muscles. Very, very, very well defined. <laughs> and, um, and we're all sort of very happy I'd, doing I'd that. I'd play you like a fiddle. Oh, God, Michael. No. Thank you very much. That's the burning okay. bush. Clarified it. Oh, <laughs> cut. Next. We just use the most the most disgusting up. thing. Even though I think that's one of Michael's dreams, to be able to do the NCIS, the musical. Uh, I think you're the one who had the big, giant uh, song and dance number at the beginning of season six. Yeah. Who's the leader? Who then... I think NCIS was... Um, <laughs> I think I think NCIS was perceived as sort of this show um, that was like this little engine. But I uh, love NCIS. I think I love you. And he does this all the time. In the middle of a scene, he will play "I think I love you," but what am I so afraid of? I'm and afraid my response I may get is, I'm afraid I may get pregnant. <laughs> and. Have, have an assassin baby. <laughs> well, there have been uh, some kisses. One. Wait a minute. There was the kiss when we were undercover. One. There were a couple kisses in there. And you also need me in the groin. <laughs> On the show? Which was fun. Oh. Um... On the show. And then there was the... You <laughs> kissed me on the cheek. Uh... That's a cheek kiss. <laughs> If it's you're not a real picky. kiss. Uh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm Latin. We like real kisses. Um, you have also but... zipped up my fly. <laughs> yes, but that's not a kiss either. Well, um, <laughs> again, you know, you sound like Bill Clinton okay. right now. You're making distinctions without a difference. Cody to Pablo impression between takes, please. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, she's very serious. Yeah. I tell you, yeah. Israeli killer. Ooh, I'm so scared of Mossad agents. <laughs> that's lovely. <gasps> an egg! An egg, Shani! There you go, there's your kid. Just cat. laid on you. <laughs> that is Please. so soft. I'm not going to do Shakespeare for Please. you. Uh, Just one. I'll record uh, it. Uh, 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 no, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. We have an announcement to make. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm kidding. <laughs> God. God. That is not. 
not not Yo, like, I mean on the no. show. Let, yes, even yeah. Tony. Let me let me let me make that clear. <laughs> on the show, not off the show. I, just, I love him. What can I say? No, I mean not that way. Let's clarify. Come on. So this hole's getting bigger. <laughs> Sexual things There's, going well, on. Well, let's not, you know, over or under. Well, well, well yeah, no, no, where's the sexual thing? Let's just leave it at that. Where does that come in? Is that in the well, elevator? Pheromones, pheromones, Layla. <laughs> it's a, it's it's better living through chemistry. We don't know. We can't explain <laughs> these things, but we know they, but we know they exist. You know. And we also know that we had fun doing it. And yeah. doing what? <laughs> She's making elevator. me nervous. The elevator scene. <laughs> what is the What is the most rewarding thing about your job? I mean. The fact that the show was so successful, obviously, but what is the most rewarding thing about the job for the two of you? Mm. Mm. Like this. You know, we try to keep it healthy. We try to keep it healthy, but we also know each other. We all know each other's secrets. Yeah. So you want to share one? Well, share one about life. each other right now. <laughs> what can you tell us about each other? That's a secret that people at home might not know. Cody smells magnificent. She is one of the, the you, your, your scent would, if, if we could bottle it, it would sell worldwide in an instant. Well, thank you very much. And I have to say something about Michael, which people may not know. Michael is incredible at decorating. And of all the things in the world, you're saying I'm a decorator? Well, That's I know that, I know that. For a man thing. to have taste, that is a huge compliment. But what I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll look at you and love you. If you were stuck in an elevator with Michael Weatherly, you know, that would be a really interesting thing. I think there would be a lot of actually opening of the heart and sharing, which I love. I know that your character and Cody's character is going to be stuck in an elevator. Uh -huh. So I spoke to Cody about it okay. and she said that if she was I'm really- be very serious right please now. Please be serious. This okay. is a really serious topic. She said if she was stuck in an elevator with you in real life, that she thinks that you would get quite emotional and you would open up your heart and you'd, you'd be quite calming. Do you what? agree? What the who? <laughs> no. I would be explaining to her that we could die at any moment and it would be imperative that we get naked <laughs> and that we try to resuscitate each other. Would you rather spend a week in a room with Gibbs or Tony? It depends what kind of a room. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, if I were building something, it would be Gibbs for a week. Definitely, because he would, you know, if I were like in a beautiful home and I needed any kind of repair, I think Gibbs would be the perfect person. If I needed to be, um, if I needed to be entertained at all times and, and if I wanted to quiz people and make them uncomfortable, it would be Tony, Michael, yeah. Uh, yes, Michael calls me, he used to call me <laughs> Cody the Problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, tell us more about the scene, the dance scene in Berlin tonight. Did you and Michael have to rehearse the stuff? <laughs> Michael is not a dancer, let's just put it that way. He is a great slow dancer, if you know what I mean, and he will commit to looking at you know, looking at you um, deeply in those eyes, and uh, and he's yummy to look at, so that's never an issue. And um, and it was intense. I have to tell you, Gracie, it was. Um, I felt like you know, because we were so close together, and maybe it's because we're both getting older. But I felt like I was a little dizzy after looking at him for so long, you know, and and trying to make this moment be something. And we didn't really have to try much because we've worked together for so long. But it was just a very special moment, and and I loved it, and and I loved him, and it's it's great. What? When along came a new new and Cody the poo poo. They would say to me, where shall we talk? Where shall we walk and do a little pop quiz? <laughs> Someone in the room remembers. Yeah, but what would say it? Hold on. I like Johnny Depp. Me. Oh, Ziva. Tony and, and Ziva's, y'all, cinnamon tracks, that sex appeal, that, that, that thing. It's hotter than fish grease. Are y'all getting together with a finale? Tell us. What can you tell us? Fabulous. Uh, well, it is interesting. Yes. I don't, you, you... I don't, I don't know. You have better insight. No, I don't. You have an intuition. 
They Even like a, like a Gibbs gun? But this is funny because it's like if there's some hidden kissing scene that neither of you remember doing. <laughs> that would be pretty oh, no. exciting. Not talking about that. They, you know, that's, only Gary Glassberg has seen some of that footage. You're so used to acting together, but when you go on the talk and you're on a talk show, how does what, what's that dynamic like? Do you enjoy it? Is it fun? What's We'll see. It's exciting. We've never done it before. We've yeah, never, we never done it. We've never been never all together in a show. It's exciting. I try not to talk. Yeah. <laughs>